this is Artifacts of Mars, and you won't believe who Time Magazine called their Person of the Year. Angela Merkel. Now, Angela Merkel is, she's from the uh, former East Germany. You know, this is a Stasi supporting tyrant, essentially. She's the one who's flooded, you know, she's flooded Germany with all these so-called uh, refugees who are really just invaders. Look, let's look at the other people first who uh, time considered. Black Lives Matters activists. ISIS leader Abu Bakr Baghdadi, transgender figure Bruce Jenner, I refuse to say the C word, Uber CEO Travis Kalanick, I wouldn't have any problem with that, Russian President Vladimir Putin, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani, and businessman TV reality star Donald Trump. I wouldn't have any problem with that. You see what they're uh, doing? They, these, uh, time, uh, is basically putting some of the worst scum on the planet in the running for their uh, so-called person of the year, which Angela Mer Merkel won, you know, they're celebrating scum. And of course, they put Donald Trump in the same uh, boat with these people, even though that's absurd. So this is a mental di disorder of liberalism on ster uh, steroids. And announcing the winner on NBC's Today Show Wednesday, Time Managing Editor Nancy Gibbs pointed in Merkel's handling of a vast array of issues, including the European economic crisis tied to countries such as Greece, the flood of refugees into the continent from the Middle East and Africa, and several deadly terrorist attacks in the region. First of all, Angela Merkel should you know, was basically a criminal and should have been sent to prison a long time ago. She doesn't belong in charge of any country. Uh, she's East, an East German uh, Stasi type. I don't know her full history, but uh, I know she's East German, and she's a commie, and she's a very, very bad person. Yeah, look who Time uh, Magazine celebrates. You get an idea of how these people think by who they celebrate. And they celebrate a vicious tyrant like Merkel. Um, you know where they stand. So this is a mental disorder of liberalism on steroids. It's disgusting. Uh, if I knew I would be pissed. But... Uh, that's the way it goes with these people. They celebrate tyrants and evil people. You'll never hear anything about the preacher down the street who, you know, might have helped a hundred homeless people get off the street or something like that. You never hear about that. You hear about these tyrants and dictators. That's who these people are in love with. I'm Artifacts of Mars. This is... The Mental Disorder of Liberalism. Thanks for watching.